Learning more about the terrorists who carried out these assaults, appearing to follow the ISIS playbook, using a large vehicle to target a crowded area. And our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, is here with more on that. And fears that these attacks may be part of a larger plot, Brian? Well, that's right, Robin, and good morning. Police in Spain this morning are scrambling to deal with what is clearly a much bigger plot than just the van attack. Now involving the five additional suspected terrorists shot dead overnight wearing fake suicide bomb vests. The question this morning, how many more members of this ISIS sleeper terror cell are still at large, and will they attack again before police close in? Details are still sketchy about the second attempted terror attack in Cambriel overnight and the connections of the five dead terrorists to those involved in yesterday's van attack in Barcelona. But the existence and the size of the ISIS terror cell has stunned Spanish police. ISIS promotes these types of attacks because they're easy. You can take people who have received no training, uh, who are uh, using uh, items that are easy to acquire, and they can still commit mass murder. Police this morning are still racing to locate everyone involved in the Barcelona van attack. Officials say the van was rented in the name of this man, 28-year-old Moroccan-born Driss Ukabar. But he claimed his license was stolen, and police tell ABC News this morning he has now been released with a new focus on his younger brother as a possible driver. The Barcelona attack comes straight out of the ISIS playbook, with its followers urged to use any means available to attack innocent civilians. This ISIS fighter was described as an American, goading others to attack. Are you incapable of stabbing a kafir with a knife, throwing him off of a building? or running him over with a car. Just this May, ISIS provided details of the best kind of truck to use in a vehicle attack. And now there have been almost a dozen such attacks across Europe. In Nice, France, 86 killed. In Berlin, 11 dead. And then in London, another dozen people killed. And what Spain is dealing with this morning was no lone wolf attack, but instead a much more complex operation involving at least eight people who ISIS claims were soldiers of the caliphate, Robin. And we're seeing across the country and right here That's right. the heightened security because Absolutely. of what's, what we're seeing. Exactly. All right, Brian, thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.